a man throws seed on the land night and day while he sleeps when he is awake the seed is sprouting and growing how he does not know how he does not know thank the lord for the many things we do not know thank the lord for the many things the many things we do not know that is for another sermon a parable has got many layers of meaning and just going to focus on just the outer layer of this parable here there is some practical simple practical wisdom in the word of the lord yeah but what we can do and what we cannot do about what is within our reach and what is beyond our reach what we should be doing and what we should not be doing knowing this having this wisdom will give us the kingdom of god joy and peace in the holy spirit the things we can do and the things we can't do we can plant the seed that is within our power is our responsibility as well throw the seed plant the seed don't do any more because what is beyond that is not in your hands but your duty is just throw the seed and go to bed sit back and relax keep your feet up sit back don't don't get worried after throwing the seed don't get worried don't cry about it just throw the seed and sit back and go to bed have a good night sleep because the rest is in the dark god is at work So if you feel ever burdened by life if you think too many things are in your hands not really where little is in your hand the rest is in the hands of god so again know that difference only where little is in my hand the rest is the majority rest is in the hands of god so know the difference the little that you do do it but don't do the rest because the rest is not within your hands but there is always a temptation to play god there's always a temptation to play god you are in the garden of eden but there is always a temptation the tree of good and evil the lord said don't touch it don't tamper it because everything is standing on the so don't go anywhere near oh please be careful you are in the garden you are given everything in your hands but don't go don't touch that tree of good and evil because it's beyond your understanding and beyond your reach so don't go anywhere near be humble the snake is always there in the language of gordon peterson jordan peterson there are too many snakes in our head too many heads too, too many snakes vicious snakes dangerous snakes in our head so be careful there's always a temptation to play god try oh come on nothing will happen try the temptation to build 
Tabay so Babel. On the computer or in the laboratories. It looks like we have made some Tabay Babel. On the computer or in our laboratories. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It looks like we have made some towers of Babel and many have been killed. But the warning is always in the word of God, don't touch. Don't pray God. It is very dangerous. As we heard in the entrance hymn, be still and know I am God. Be still. Come down. Be still and know God is in control. But don't ever try to play God. Take a knee before God. Always be humble. Oh, humbly with the, and always take a knee before God, not before anybody else. Take a knee. Be always be humble. He is our God. And kneel down before him and give praise to him and honor to him. Because if you cease to worship God, kneel before God, you are going to worship everybody and everything else too. When you stop worshiping God, you are going to worship so many false gods. I close with the words of Nietzsche. Nietzsche was an atheist. He said, we have killed God. We know him only as an atheist, but he said something absolutely meaningful. He said, because God is dead, be careful. Because God is dead, you have killed him, we have killed him, be careful. Because everything stands on that faith in God. Because if the faith is gone, then everything will collapse and you will be killed. 